Now, how's it going, people? My name is Shadow, and we're here in Golden Exiles. As you can see, I am literally just starting off in the Midnight Grove. Just going to run through this as quick as I can. I'm not going to do any convoluted intro like I normally do. So, I'm literally, yeah, I'm not just going to ignore all the enemies, go through, grab all the bosses. I picked up. All four keys. I've got some blood crystals on me because of something I plan to do today, along with Rasmus Shem's key as well. Alright, ah! let's go ahead and deal with uh, the Panther, Brother of Night. Hi. That was easy. Uh, still a long sword. Alright, you should give me some more shade, boy. Only a little bit. Alright, on to the next boss. Ah, I forgot which boss. Ah, it's the gorilla. And I have bears following me. Of course I do. Bloom, that's all I wanted. Alright, onwards to the next boss. Uh, let us go. Let's go this way with the savers. Alright, now to deal with the raging bull. Forgot his name again. Brother of Mists. Yeah, that's really unfair with that one. You actually have to drop in and nearly kill yourself. Attack to let me attack. Fucking hell. Wow. Black claws, legendary. Take that. More shade bloom. And last, NPC. And there we go, final boss in the Midnight Grove, in PC, or oh, Brother of Blood. Uh, that is in PC, I got it wrong last Die time. <laughs> and he is dead. Oh, what is that? Blood Moonbow, I will take that. Yeah, let me just munch all of that now. Give me that, hold that. Right, the four chest, wait, what? There was four chests when I came here last time. Oh well, let's see what we got. Shield of Kutaman. Kutaman. 52.13, what is mine? 53.14. Eh. Yeah. It's durable, so it's not too bad. You. Uh, great Greatsaber. 71 and 23 armor pen and it's a glow same as the new glitter moon lovely and last but not least mist one and dairy shield to my shield heat insulated nice that would be useful for going up into uh useful for the desert by the sounds of it yeah what are you i still have a bit of flesh are you still classes no you are literally classed as a strength weapon okay nice I don't know why I've got a great sword that classes the agility weapon though. Then we have you, we have black claws, we have you as well. Nice. Yeah, let's go for Mistmorn. Apparently this thing glows. Oh yeah, it does. Nice. We've got two glowing weapons. Right, let's get out of here. There we go. And hello again, people. Sorry for that. I did say to myself, 
might not just record the entire run. Um, obviously, all you'll see is the boss fights. I will cut that down to make sure. But we are here. We are in um, Sapomaru. I have not long just broke up, if you can't tell. Uh, we will go speak to them in a minute. I will not be running through that side of uh, Sepameru. You want it because I don't want to be fighting everything along the way. We are running down to go and speak to Razmar Shem. Almost forgot her name then. Whose house is, I believe, oh, over that side somewhere. We have the key to her place, so let's go and talk to her. And then let's go find out if Conan actually has anything to say to us. Oh, no, it's that one right there. No, I said to open the door. Mate, move. Jesus Christ. Right, I don't think she's got anything here. I know uh, at times it does say to press X around it. I think there's something out here somewhere or it's on her roof. But let's go ahead and speak to Razma. I wanted to thank you. The woman that you met in those ruins. That was not me. She was ancient and... Wicked and powerful. You almost killed me in that city. I cannot begrudge you that. Such a terrible, awesome creation. While I wore the mask, I was somebody else. I was something else. Such power and knowledge. I stood on an island in a vast ocean. I could see across the water in every direction. And that ocean was time. I... I am sorry. It is difficult to describe. All I have are fragments. Her memories evaporate from my mind like mists above the oasis. If you have questions, you must ask them quickly. My mind is leaking. Purging itself of all traces of that woman. She knew so much about these bracelets we wear, about the giant kings and the ancient war, about the darkness that lurks in the volcano and... Just ask, friend, before I lose the nerve to speak. The bracelets, she made them together with the giant kings. The bracelets were imbued with the power of seven artifacts. The Witch Queen's Mask, the Diadem of the Giant Kings, the Tears of Two Races, the Shining Trapezohedron, the Star of the Champion, the Heart of the Sands, and the Black Ring of Set. The bracelets were created to translate any language for the wearer, to allow swift movement around the Empire, and to allow communication and recording through the Lore Stones. It was only later, when the war began, that the Queen suspected that the Giant Kings had included a Death Weave in the sorcery. Any who tried to flee their control were simply killed by the Curse Wall. Her people, the Lemurians, were the remnant of a desperate race. Her memories before the exiled lands are vague and confused. Flashes of an island kingdom, sinking as the world heaves. A people being subjugated with fire and sorcery. An escape, and a long, treacherous journey into the west. I'm sorry, it's fading so quickly. I remember a daughter, Telleth, and a great betrayal, and a grandchild. She was a mother and a grandmother. She knew what it was to be a slave and didn't want that for any of her people. She would stop at nothing to prevent it from happening again. Can you blame her? Her mind shies away from two things, her grandchild and what her people found in the volcano. Her grandchild was... not truly human. Zoltar? He was a hostage... or something else. I'm sorry. I've just done another bloody power cut, for fuck's sake! I'm sorry. 
For her, these memories were laden with emotion. I see a beloved daughter, and a hated foe, and a child that brings hope. It is so very unclear. As for what her people discovered at the volcano... Horror, anger, and disgust, and fear. This is the only memory where the Witch Queen of Lemuria felt fear. I truly don't know what I will do now that I have my freedom. Conan has offered to accompany me north, back to my home city in Shem. My palace awaits me, and the pampered life of a princess of Shem. But my enemies, the ones who sent me here, they also await me there. Perhaps instead, I will travel with Conan a while, see the world by his side. He is formidable, yes? For a barbarian. You almost killed me in that city. I cannot Is she repeating herself now? Such a terrible, awesome creation. Yeah, she's repeating herself now. Well, Do apologize for the noise of um somebody else. The Sandstorm, I have no control over when that thing goes through. So, yeah, uh, that was nice, having a power cut whilst talking to Buddy Brasma. That's happened twice this- oh, hello. Yeah, that's happened twice in the space of a week. That happened, believe it or not, at the exact same time last week as well. And we were down in the unnamed city. I will not be taking on any of that. Right, uh... After oh my god. You know, mate, I'm gonna destroy you. Okay, that's got a unique noise to when it swings. Oh, gold and silver. Nice. No, I meant to put that away. Too many games with different buttons. Yeah, the thing with uh, Rasma and Conan. I know I'm about to run to Conan to see if he's got any new dialogue saying, uh, do you, if you have any news about Rasma or Shen. But I think that at the end where she says that she's going to accompany Conan. I think that's clarification on, like, you know, telling Conan. Even though... Technically, I haven't told Conan. Right, let's see if you've got anything different to say. Oh, he has nothing new to say. Who the fuck are you? Right. Yeah, he's got nothing new to say. Um, so, what? where are we going to go? Where are we going to go? Mechmosis. We need to head over to that. So, let's quickly run through the entire desert. Get to Mechmosis. I do need to set up a... Um, map room somewhere around here at some point. Oh, hello. Gregorus the Baker. That mm -hmm. is great. Absolutely great. I hate it when they put tier fours in here. It means I'll have to go on a massive killing spree just to go get the tier four. Oh well. Let's go get to Mechmosis or however you say it. Oh god, it's the big bloody thing again. Oh. Uh, Ignore it, ignore it, just run. Just run. That thing almost killed me and Bob yesterday. Ah, oh, he's getting pummeled again. Where is he? There he is. Come on, catch up. There he is, right, we're good. Oh, the uh, server's glitching my bloody stamina. Alright, Metmosis is... Almost there. Alright, that is Mechmosis, or however you say it, and that is where we are getting to. Uh, that's where it actually looks. It looks further away than it actually is. Uh, I've got to try and remember where to go up there now. Uh, Allo, that just reminds me, I need to go on a Allo run at some point. Um, I've got no Allo left. Well, I've got like... A stack of 100 or two. So, yeah, running low. Uh, I think I can get up this way. No, is it the next one? Well, I think this works. Bloody hyenas. Ah, uh, I'm sorry about that. That's a great sword. How's it got such a short reach? Uh, is it you? No. Yeah. 
It's this one. The hell's chasing me now? Bob, you got a hyena trying to bite your ass. Pay attention, man. Right, and here we are. Ah, uh, wait for it to pop up on my screen. Because I know I've been probably saying it wrong. Mechamosis, that's it. Right, from, obviously, I've never, I've only been up here once or twice. Uh, and that was at the beginning of the Age of War. Um, apparently, up here at this slab, this is where the princess was. And Conan came and saved her. Um, I can't remember who it was who said it. Someone pointed it out to me in the comments um, on what actually happened. I can't remember who it was, but thank you to you for uh, helping me with some uh, backstory and everything. Uh, but yeah, down here it used to be uh, some traders. I think it was you who used to be a trader, and then used to be one on the other side. Uh, from a whack video I think I watched telling me about it. Obviously all the changes and stuff. So yeah, you used to be a... Uh, trader as well, I think. Or was it you? I think it was you. But, we are going up here to speak to three people. That one, that one, and you up there. So, you. What you got for me? Grand Ophidian Magi's Cash for a Severed Head of Korok. Um, there's Mechamosis. I'm guessing that this dungeon still works then. I think. No? I know the dungeon's here somewhere. I think it's you. I don't want to press action that transports me somewhere. And then I can't get out. So yeah, if that is the dungeon, uh, someone please let me know and I will go and do that one. The other person we can speak to is this dude. And we can get a Aphidian Magis cash for 15 blood crystals. Beautiful. I do have 122 on me, but let's go and speak to, not you, you first, Master Carver Huang. Greetings, Wanderer. I suspect an interesting and winding road has brought you to me. Yeah, learn Golem construction. My current medium is uh, blood crystals. Purchase crystalline guardian torso Should for 200 blood some? crystal changes I in seven hours. I am happy with my skills, such as they are. Okay, so you can bring uh, blood crystals yes, to him yes. and crutches, uh, certain um, things from him. But let's go ahead and use our blood crystals on you. Two, three, four, five, six. Buy as many as we can. And I will take them back with me. Uh, these can contain random things. Uh, I've seen a couple people open them and get uh, a chemical base out of these. Let's see what Mechmosis has got to say. Exile. Uh, learn Acolyte of Set. Learn Emo. Why did I learn Set then? Oh, right, yeah, I ate the eyes of Set, didn't I? Uh, let's learn the Emo. The loss of a body is a small matter for one who commands the obeisance of many other bodies. By and by. I shall bide my time, and by my so potent art, make myself whole again. We'll yeah, meet I don't again. think... I have foreseen it. Yeah, I don't think he's got anything important to say. But yeah, I think this is the dungeon. I don't know if this one's still active or not. Remember that this used to be a dungeon, uh, according to the map, anyway. Um, I've never been into it. But by the looks of it, it's still... Active. You know what? Let's see what happens. Ah, okay. Uh, ignite. Ignite the gateway between transport... Transportary st uh, stones. 30 blood crystals. Well, I have just uh, spent all my blood crystals. So... Yeah. Not happening. But I think that's the dungeon. But I believe this one is going to be a very short one today. Um, yeah, I mean, literally all I had planned really was get through Midnight Grove, 
see what legendaries we get at the end of it. We got fairly decent ones, to be honest. I'm happy with the new sword, the Jedi's uh, Great Saber. That glows the same as the Glimmer Moon. So, obviously Glimmer Moon doesn't say glows, but it's got the exact same effect. It does the same damage, but has armor penetration. But it's a great sword, so we won't be able to use our shield. But I will be keeping all three of them on me as a weapon. Because you never know when you're going to need some armor penetration against certain bosses. Uh, for the next episode, what I will do in between this episode and next episode is head back to base. I will then get together a armor set that I can make. Uh, that is going to be good for the cold. I'm going to try and get a heavy armor set if I do have one that's good for cold. Just so we can go off and do the black keep. Because next episode I do have black keep in mind to go and do. So yeah, obviously we went and uh, ran Midnight Grove one more time. Got legendaries. Went and spoke to Verizon at Shem. Seen what she has to say. Conan had nothing new, so I'm guessing, obviously, Rasmus Shem confirms it at the end of her dialogue, which, in my eyes, is poor writing. I mean, Conan turned around and says to you, let me know if you find Rasmus Shem or have any news of her. So he's thinking, oh, I need to go speak to him once I find Rasmus. No. And then we came all the way up to Metcomosis. I found the two tra uh, traders and the... Uh, golem constructor so we can now construct our own golems we just need to get a couple more pieces together so we can put on together but anyway people thank you for joining me and as always my name has been shadow and i hope you enjoy the rest of the day the rest of your evening wherever you are in the world and i shall catch you in the next one bye bye